How's it going everyone? My name is Nick Benedetto and this is what $1,800 in rent for an apartment gets you in Northern Virginia. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my 816 square foot, one bed, one bath apartment, about 15 to 20 miles outside of Washington DC in the Northern Virginia area. This apartment is fully upgraded. I'm gonna show you guys in the video um, all its amenities, and I'll talk about some of the amenities of the apartment complex as well. I actually pay $18.30 in rent per month, so that actually includes not only the rent, but internet and cable through Cox, so that's pretty good internet. I think it's 150 over 150, and then a um, HD preferred, preferred cable package, which is really good. Another cool amenity included is valet waste, and I'll talk about that a little bit during my actual tour of the apartment. So let's go on and I'll show you the apartment. All right, so once you come in the front door, you can immediately see that the floor plan is super open. This is a one bed, one bath. Um, so we're gonna start in the kitchen. So as you can see, everything looks super updated, super upgraded. This apartment was actually renovated right before I moved in. Um, so whoever the previous tenant was, was living here for a while. They moved out and the apartment complex decided to renovate the whole place um, to update it, make it new and fresh for 2020. So you can see here in the entryway, there's a little coat, co coat closet. Um, got my instant pot up there, still haven't used it yet. It is unpacked though. We'll close that. You can see the granite here. It's a nice whitish gray granite. Um, all the appliances are stainless steel. I believe the fridge is a Whirlpool. Super nice. There's a bunch of room in it. Um, just did my shopping beforehand. A nice uh, pull-out drawer freezer. Super nice. Um, we can turn. There's also a matching Whirlpool dishwasher there. Um, sink with the island. And then all of this nice cabinet space which is super great. There's a lot of cabinet space here. The cabinets are nice and updated. Um, these ones are pretty deep. But these ones on the side, you can see the countertop's kind of short over here, so you can't really put wide things in there. Um, so now we'll actually move, or I, before we do that, I'll actually touch on something that's included in the rent, so I'm gonna go over the cost of this later. So you can actually see this trash has valet living on it. Um, so my trash, I can actually leave it right outside my door here, and I'll show you. It's just an, an open hallway. So yeah, it's an open hallway there. But uh, Sunday through Thursday nights, I'll actually come and pick up my trash there after 8 p.m., which is super great. So I just put that, that little trash can out there with trash bags in it, and uh, they'll pick it up, which is super great. So now that we're done with the kitchen, we'll move on to the kind of dining room and living room area. Um, right here, you can see that there's actually one single spotlight right there where a table should go. Um, I also have some stools coming right now. You'll see that it looks pretty barren. There's nothing on the walls. Still ordering some furniture, some other stuff to, to fill out the place, right? So we're getting three or four bar stools right there. You can see this nice little Roomba my parents were glad to give me, which is super great. Um, it'll go over the carpet no problem. So we're planning on either putting a small kitchen table there or maybe a little side table that unfolds into a kitchen table right there. Um, and then this is the living room. You can see there are two nice folding comfy chairs. They actually recline all the way back, which is super nice. I got these from my girlfriend's family. They were nice enough to be giving them away. Um, the only thing in this whole room I actually bought for this move is the coffee table. So the coffee table is from Wayfair. Uh, we'll go over the cost of it after I'm done showing you guys the floor plan. But that is the only thing I bought for this room. I, I had all this furniture either from family or family friends, uh, girlfriend's family beforehand. So that is the living room. And I'll just show you briefly the little patio deck thing I have. Super nice, there's my bike, nice little courtyard. Um, it's a pretty big deck. All right, so now that we've shown you guys the deck, living room, kitchen, we will go on to the bedroom. So this bedroom is actually pretty spacious. You can see I saw my, my mattress box right there from unboxing it. First time I got a mattress in a box and it's actually super comfortable. I like it so far. It's a Helix mattress for anyone that, that is wondering if Helix is good. It is, it's been pretty good so far. Um, I still also need to buy furniture for my bedroom too. This desk is just temporary until I can get a dresser in here. 
Um, but yeah, you guys can see that this is a pretty big bedroom. Got two nice stands for each side coming also. Got my desk. I'm gonna add a monitor there once I get that in. And I actually wanted to, to highlight my friend Buck is actually helping me edit this video. He has a nice short story in this book. It is on Amazon and I'll actually link it to the description below. But let me show you, I have his page memorized, 83. Let's go to it. All right, there we go. Leapfrogging by Buck Bloomingdale. Great short story. I highly recommend it. Head over to Amazon, check that out. Snafu Last Stand is the book title. Um, so yeah, we have the desk right there, a uh, box I still have to unpack, and we will go into the master closet now, which is really great walk-in master closet. There's, a, you can see a lot of hanging room. I have this cube thing right here because I don't have my dresser yet, so I'm putting clothes in there, shoe rack. But yeah, overall, very big walk-in closet, which is really nice. So now that we're done with that, we can go over to the bathroom. We'll turn the light on in a second. You can see... You know, closet right there, whole towels, other things. We'll turn the light on. The fan's gonna be a little loud, but we'll deal with it. Uh, you see, very nice bathroom, same countertop, same floors that match the kitchen, which is really nice. Um, yeah, just a nice, simple bathroom. Pretty big tub, actually. I'll show you guys the tub. It's a super big soaking tub, which is super cool. Um, I'm gonna turn off the light. All right. So the yeah, bathroom actually connects, it's a double door as it connects to the main area. So we'll come back out here, you can see the main area. So if you're entertaining guests, you can come, come right in the bathroom if you need. Um, this unit does come with washer and dryer, which is really nice. Most apartments in the area come with washer and dryer um, built in. This is nothing like LA or New York or anything like that where you have to walk um, to the laundry room. Uh, I think these are also updated Whirlpool appliances when they renovated the apartment, which is super good. Um, haven't actually ran them yet, so hopefully they, they work well. And another reason I actually got this apartment, I was, I was looking at the same complex and they had a little, a little smaller floor plan, but this one actually came with a pantry and the, the smaller one didn't. So it's a pretty good size pantry, store food, other things. But yeah, the, uh, the smaller one that they were offering didn't, didn't have a pantry. So yeah, that is basically the apartment. It's just a one bed, one bath, um, open floor plan, really nice, super updated. So now I'm gonna go take you guys and we'll see how much this actually costs and what I had to actually pay for when I was moving in here. So now that you all have seen the apartment, I'm gonna show you guys how much it actually cost for me to move into this part apartment buy new furniture I didn't have before, and kind of the month-to-month -month cost of living here besides the rent. So I'll, I'll put up some graphics on the screen. I'm gonna read off my expenses when I actually moved in here. So as far as furniture goes, that was, that was probably my biggest expense moving into here. I was prior uh, living for a few months at my parents' house, and prior to that I was in a, a single family home with a few roommates. So I had a decent amount of furniture, but there were some things that I didn't have. So I didn't have bar stools. I sh didn't show you guys those because they haven't come in yet, but those were $207. I also had to buy my comforter back here for $110. Coffee table I showed you guys for $170. My bed frame over here, which I don't know if I showed you guys super well in the video, but it's a nice wood bed frame, pretty easy to come together. Also bought that from Wayfair and uh, it was it was pretty simple to put together. My mom helped me with that. Um, I also showed you guys the Helix mattress right back there. That was $900 for a queen mattress. I think it's a good investment. You should always buy a great mattress so you can have sleep at night, um, rest so your health is in good condition. Uh, it, it basically buys itself when, when you think of it that way. And then I also had a move-in amenity fee for this apartment complex. They claim the money goes, goes towards upkeeping the amenities, the pool, gym, etc. And that was, I think, $200 or $300. So if we total that all up, the total will be over here to my right. And that is about around $1,900. You'll see how much it was on the graphic. So yeah, almost $2,000. And there is still some things like the dresser. You can see I don't have a dresser, so I'm gonna need to buy that. Nightstands, side tables. So that will definitely be well beyond $2,000 once I get done with that. 
Um, so now I'll show you the monthly cost of living here. As I said, my rent, including cable and internet, is $18.30, so that's not too bad. Um, but then once you add water, $25 a month, and electric, estimated $60 to $80 a month, that comes out to be around $1,915, or I'm sorry, $1,915 a month, um, which isn't too bad as well for this area. Uh, the average rent, I would say, in the area I'm living in is around... 1800-ish what I'm paying for a one bedroom. There are some a lot higher, uh, some lower too, just depending on what you're getting. Um, but yeah, those are my expenses for this apartment. And I will do an update video too once I get more things in and once I kind of get settled down here in a few months, I'll do an update video um, with my whole apartment actually decorated and having all the right furniture. All right, and that was what $1,800 gets you in Northern Virginia, DC suburbs. I wanted to mention one last thing. You guys might have noticed it when I was doing my bedroom walkthrough the first time, um, but this is my channel, it's up on the screen. And uh, you can see there's 14 subscribers. So this is actually the day after my first video. So I'm filming this the day after I put out my first video. And I wanna remind you guys to definitely hit that like button. It lets everyone on YouTube know that this is a decent video and that they should also watch it. And definitely hit that subscribe button also. It helps me a lot for my future videos. Um, you can see this nice header, personal finance for normal millennials by a normal millennial. My beautiful girlfriend made that logo and I think it looks great. So definitely hit the like button, comment below. I will try to respond to every single comment. I should be able to now because the channel is so small. All right, so I think I will put a link in here to my last video if you haven't seen it already. It's about beginner credit cards, student credit cards, and why young adults should get credit cards. Um, that is it for me. Have a great day and look out for that next video.